Hello friends! Sometimes wild animals can't survive without the help from humans. Injured, orphaned, or abandoned, they need help. There are many people in the world who become volunteers, open rehabilitation centers, and rescue doomed animals from fur farms. Our story today is about the only air bear in the world, the world-famous internet star, Mansur. The bear that was saved by the pilots twice. The second time they saved him from a fate much worse than death. So watch the video to find out what happened to this bear. Meet Mansur, a crew member of the IL-14, a brown bear that's used to the roar of aircraft engines since early childhood. After all, he's been living at the airport for most of his life. The bear cub turned up at the Orlovka airfield in Russia's Tver region, Andrei Ivanov recalls. We went out in the morning and saw something lying on the pavement. We came closer and there he was, very small. Unfortunately, he was already familiar with people, so he wasn't afraid of us. We think that his mother might have run away during logging or maybe she was killed and someone played with him for a while and then abandoned him. We went to the Pozhetnov scientists. It's a family of biologists who return orphaned bears to the wild. They said that it was too late, that he wouldn't be able to adapt to the wild, since he already knew that people are friends. He was about one month old at the time. They could teach him to live in the forest, but they couldn't change his attitude towards people. This meant that he would eventually come out to people and they would just shoot him. A bear must be afraid of people, it's a guarantee of his life safety. The pilots, men of strong spirit and kind hearts, couldn't abandon the orphan baby. They named the foundling Mansur, which means bear in the Altai dialect. One of the pilots, Andrei Ivanov, became the bear's handler, and it soon turned into a real father figure for the animal. Mansur quickly became the center of the airfield's life. People came to hug him, they taught him to do high fives, and he hugged people at the knees, which was very cute. They set up a kennel for him. Mansur made friends with the husky of the fighter pilot Fyodor Pashchenkov. He was under supervision from the vets from the Moscow Zoo and the Cobra Clinic. Mansur climbed ladders for hours, played with instruments, and became friends with the dog of one of the pilots. His childhood was accompanied by the noise of airplanes, and they soon began to call him Air Bear. Time went by and they needed to start thinking about Mansoor's future. He's already been living with people for a long time, as a baby bear couldn't have fended for himself alone in the forest, and had grown up attached to them. The formidable animal especially enjoyed hugging and kissing people. Zoos refused to take in Mansoor because they had enough bears. While they were calling the zoos, the pilots found useful contacts. Now they knew a man who could advise on the bear's nutrition and help find the right vet, since not all vets specialize in bears. So the pilots got in touch with who seemed like the right person at the time. He promised to get the animal into a reserve and assured that Mansoor would live a happy life there. They parted with Mansoor with heavy hearts. The pilots understood that it was the right decision and that Mansoor would be better off at the reserve, but it still didn't feel right, and they were right to worry. Andre and his colleagues didn't like the people who came for the bear. They didn't seem nice at all. They just arrived, put Mansoor in a cage, and took him away. Andre called a few days later asking if he could come visit Mansoor, but all he got in response were vague excuses, which made Andre realize that something was wrong. A few weeks later, they said that Mansur wasn't at the Seligar, but in the Kaluga region. Andre made a few calls and found out what reserve it was. And then they asked the local pilots about it, and it turned out that there was a baiting station there. A baiting station is a place where trainers and owners train dogs to hunt wild animals. It's hard to imagine what the bear had to go through in that terrible place. Another pilot found the station's phone number, so he called and asked if he could train a husky to hunt a bear. The men went to rescue their friend. They could already hear Mansoor's roar at the entrance of the station. The bear was desperately scraping at the iron bars of the cage. The pilot called out to the animal by his name and he froze in surprise. 
When the cage opened, Mansoor literally jumped into Andre's arms, and then he began to joyfully greet other men, licking their hands and hugging their knees. The bear didn't look well. His coat was soiled and matted. They took him for a swim. Seeing the pond, the bear happily jumped into the water. He loved swimming. Being a well-fed, content, and good-natured animal, Mansoor even said goodbye to the station owner, standing up on his hind legs as if trying to say, I don't hold a grudge against you. And he spent all the way home sitting with his nose glued to the car window. After the incident, the pilots decided to keep Mansoor. They moved him to a larger airfield in Orshkovo, Kaluga region. The pilots carefully studied how to keep bears in captivity and enlisted the support of experts. Andre, the bear dad, was introduced to the basics of zoo psychology. A large piece of land was fenced off for Mansoor and an enclosure was built with donations, which were sent in from all over the world. Now he lives in a spacious area, in an enclosure with an area of 25 acres, a swimming pool, and a wooden playground with a den. There he can play and have fun, which is what Mansoor loves doing the most. Also, the Air Bear has become a real blogger. You can follow his life on social media. Over 20 people from different cities help take care of Mansoor. They monitor his health, feed him, clean up his enclosure, organize video broadcasts, and maintain the social network pages. Irina Kaposhko, an operator of live cameras, moderates a YouTube channel and maintains a blog about Mansoor's everyday life and habits. Lada Vysilkevich is a nutritionist. She is the one responsible for the nutritious and varied diet of the bear. But guests are no longer allowed to come and see the air bear. Initially, Andrei Ivanov, who has been taking care of Mansoor since he was little, allowed people to come and visit the bear. People from many different places came to see Mansoor. All they needed to do was contact his guardians in advance. People brought treats and chatted with the friendly bear. However, visiting Mansoor is no longer an option. Andrei Ivanov says that too many people were interested in the animal and he had to give up on the idea of letting people come to visit. There were too many people interested in Mansoor, so we had to cancel the free attendance. People came too close to the bear and behaved irresponsibly. Starting this year, we gave up on the idea of open visitation. We aren't a zoo. We don't pursue the goal of showing off the animal, says Andre. Today, Mansoor is a fully grown bear weighing over 200 kilograms. Mansoor is a vegetarian, but loves fish as well as grapes, honey, ram, pears, and watermelons. By the way, the bear is not aggressive at all, even towards dogs and cats. And that's it for today, friends. Did you like today's video? Let us know in the comments. Like the video and don't forget to share it with your friends as they might also be interested to learn about the fate of the air bear. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.